Hi, this is your math prof, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to be talking about the equations of lines. Lines have names just like you and I have names. My name is Barbara Rademacher. That doesn't say much about me except that my last name kind of sounds German, but you know nothing about me from it. Well, lines have names and those names are always in the forms of equations and often equations can give us more information about the line than our names give the world about us. Okay, so here we go. Let's look here at problem number two in module four and you see that the equation of a particular line is given in the form of 3x minus 6y equals 19. This is one of the two main forms of line equations. Um, this is called standard form. And in standard form, the x term and the y term are on the same side of the equal sign, while the number term is on the other side of the equal sign. Now we're being asked is this point, 8, negative 6, is that a solution of the equation? Now what that means is, is this point on the line? But it's the same thing. Remember that this is the x-coordinate and this is the y-coordinate. And so what they're saying is, if you take this 8 and put it in for the x, and if you take the negative 6 and you put it in for the y, are you going to get a true answer with 19 on both sides? Let's see. 3 times 8 minus 6 times negative 6. I can already tell you this isn't going to work because we're going to have 24 plus 36 equals 19. That's 60 equals 19 and is that true? No, I would say under most circumstances, in fact under all circumstances, it's wrong. Yeah, this is false. So our answer, the only answer we can possibly give to this equation is no. Let's see if we're right. Good job. I like it when it tells me good job. Now number three is asking the same kind of question, only now this equation is in what we call slope intercept form. It's the other form of a line. Lines either come this way, usually, everything is usually. Lines either come this way with the x and y term together, usually on the left side of the equal sign, and the number on the right side of the equal sign, or they come in the y equals form, and this y equals form is called the slope-intercept form. You'll find out why later. But right now what we're being asked is 5, negative 10, that point, is that a solution of the line? So we're going to check and see. I'll put the x-coordinate in for the x and the y-coordinate in for the y. So we'll let y equal negative 10, and we'll let, oops, now I would have gotten this wrong. This is y equals negative 2. Okay, now we're being asked, all right, if I take the 5 and put it in for the x and the negative 10 and put it in for the y, will I get a true answer? And you bet I do, now that I wrote the equation the correct way. So this is true. True means yes, this point is a solution of this line. So I'm going to say yes. And I'm right. Notice how important it is to write the problem correctly. I need to remind myself of that. Okay. Let's go on to number four. Number four is, well, it's a different kind of line. We have y 
equals negative 6. This is a special kind of line that you're going to learn about later. It's only got a Y in it, and it has not got an X in it. And we're being asked if this point is a solution of the line, where this is the X coordinate and this is the Y coordinate. Now notice there is no X for you to put the X coordinate in, but there is a Y. So I'm going to put negative 6 in for the Y and ask, is this true? And the answer is yes, this is true. So that means that this point is actually on that line. You're going to learn how to graph it a little bit later. Let's answer yes. Fantastic. All right, let's go on to number five. This is one of those other kind of strange lines. X minus seven equals zero. This is a line that only has an X, but not a Y. And we're being asked, is the point six, one, a solution of this line, where X, the X coordinate is six and the Y coordinate is one. And let me make sure I've copied everything correctly. Okay. Well, there is no Y coordinate for me to put the one in, but there is an X coordinate for me to put the six in. So I'll put a six over here. Six minus seven, does that equal zero? Heck no. Negative one does not equal zero. So this is false which means that this point is not a solution to this line. So I can only answer no. All right, that's how you do problems like this. When you're asked, is a point the solution or is an ordered pair? Ordered pair and point mean exactly the same thing because it's a pair of numbers. A point is a pair of numbers and they're in a particular order. They're not just one put anywhere or six put anywhere. They're a six first because that's the X coordinate and a one second because that's the Y coordinate. And so the order matters. For that reason, a point is also referred to as an ordered pair. Okay, we'll talk again later.